This is our sixth Democracy in Action update for today. Election Day 2012, I'm Tim Dohler. And I'm Carolina Buchek. Polls have closed in New York State, and each minute we're getting closer to knowing the election results. We still have more than 100 student reporters around central New York getting the most up-to-date information for you. Democratic U.S. Senator Kristen Gillibrand has won the election for her first full term representing New York. Gillibrand replaced Hillary Clinton in 2009 after Clinton became Secretary of State. This is Gillibrand's first time winning a six-year term. After initially getting a chilly reception from some fellow New York Democrats who felt she was too conservative, Gillibrand has built up support over the past three years. The support developed in part by taking on high-profile causes like gay rights and women in politics. As results are starting to come in, the presidential race is just too close to call. And as you can see by this map of the Electoral College, for, for most of the states, each candidate has, that each candidate has won have been no surprise. The only exception is the state of Pennsylvania, which Obama took by 63% with 13% of the votes in already. The rest of the battleground states are still up for grabs, according to CNN. The Republicans should keep control of the House. The confusion plagued... Confusion plagued some local voters today when they showed up to the Hamilton Street Boys and Girl, Girls Club and found no one there. Eileen Williams was one of these people, and although she describes this as an inconvenience, it did not stop her from voting. The frustration level was about a 10 because I told my mom it makes no sense that we're riding all over the place and we don't know where to go because, you know, we never had these problems before. We just always went to the Boys and Girls Club where we were supposed to vote at. And then for them to not do it there anymore, it was kind of an inconvenience. And then to send you somewhere else, and that's not the place that you have to go, that's really an inconvenience. So we, we made it to where we had to go. We got our votes in, and everything's fine now. I'm just waiting for the results. Who would have thought spaghetti would be what crossed the party lines? Reporter Brent Fox was at the annual spaghetti supper to see how. Our Lady of Pompeii held its Election Day spaghetti supper today. The annual event welcomed people from all parties to sit together and enjoy some homemade pasta, as well as the company of the people around them. Many of the voters expressed their views on what they thought were the most important issues of this election. And what do you feel were the biggest issues uh, of this election? The economy and jobs. Change the inertia. You know, it seems to be stagnating the country, the economy, and our national self-respect. Many of the local candidates made appearances at the event. Even Congresswoman Anne-Marie Burkle was on site shaking hands and meeting constituents. For some, this was the first time they had seen this kind of event. It's amazing. I didn't know what to expect. The school has been preparing for weeks, and I had no idea what to expect, and this is pretty spectacular. Mary Midliki is the school librarian and a volunteer at this year's Spaghetti Supper. The Spaghetti Supper also included a raffle and live music. I asked some of the people there if they had voted and who they voted for. Here's what they told me. Voted for Romney. Voted for Romney. I did vote. I'm from the Albany area, so I sent my absentee ballot in a couple weeks ago. There's nothing left to do now here at Our Lady of Pompeii except grab yourself a nice big plate of spaghetti and wait for the polls to close. I'm Brent Fox, reporting for Democracy in Action. Our Lady of Pompeii has been holding their spaghetti supper for the past 63 years. This has been a Democracy in Action update brought to you by NCC News. I'm Tim Dohler. And I'm Carolina Buchek. For all the latest news throughout Election Day, visit www.dia-cny.com slash Election Day.